Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Kestra Harris. Tonight, alongside me is my trusty side host, Jonah Hoy. Hello, and everybody. And this is RMU tonight. It is great to be back, and we cannot wait for another exciting show. How and are you doing, Kestra? I am doing good. How are you? I can't complain myself. Glad <laughs> to be here for another exciting show of RMU tonight. <sighs> okay, well, I have some juicy stuff. Oh, you do? Well, us, let's yeah. kick it. So let's kick off the night with a little news, shall we? A 94-year-old man by the name of Suddy Economy was hospitalized in West Virginia last Thursday. By the way, what a name. <laughs> Due to his long-standing heart complications, Suddy, having imminent death on his mind, also had juicy fruit on it too. This, is, this World War II veteran developed a deep passion for Wrigley's during his military service, and now he wants to have it painted all over his casket. On Facebook, Suddy's story went viral, and the funeral home is got he, they got a call from the vice president of Wrigley's, giving Suddy the A-OK -okay to use their Juicy Fruit logo for his last farewell. That's what I call the sweet release of death. Oh, let me tell you, <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> That's sad. Don't say that. <laughs> uh, speaking of tragic ends, keeping up with the Kardashians will finally be laid to rest. After 14 years and 20 seasons, the critically acclaimed reality show will reach its conclusion in 2021, which is a bummer. Debuting really? in 2007, yeah, to is me it? it is. Did you watch that in Canada? Um, I mean, I watched it in Canada. I watched it here. I watched it everywhere I could. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Uh, debuting in 2007, skyrocketing the Kardashians into international stardom, the family announced an end to the show on September 8th, saying, it is with heavy heart we say goodbye to keeping up with the Kardashians. Thank you to everyone who was involved. And a spinoff I heard is in the works on the E! Network called Old and Irrelevant with Kris Jenner, where Kris Jenner, in a desperate ploy to stay relevant in today's society, will renegotiate her contract with the devil just for the Instagram likes. You know, she'd do anything for those likes. Yeah? She really would. I think Kim probably Wait, who's your favorite more. Kardashian? Courtney. <laughs> so... From one family with gender reveal issues to another, Memorial Day weekend, a family from California caused a wildfire in El Dorado Ranch Park. A pyrotechnic smoke machine that would reveal the gender of the family's upcoming youngin had malfunctioned, causing this region of California to burn nearly 14,000 acres of land. Authorities did initiate evacuation orders, but have since repealed them, but California is still in a fiery storm. I've heard of happy accidents before, but I don't know about this one. <laughs> <sighs> um, some shows don't go as planned, especially for this next guy. President Abraham Lincoln's lock of hair in a bloodstained assassination telegram sold for more than $81,000 at auction on Monday. Dr. Todd was in possession of these artifacts due to his cousin being Lincoln's widow, Mary Todd Lincoln. A local reporter asked whoever bought them, Sir, why did you pay so much for all these items? All he had to, to say was, I would have killed for him. <laughs> how good, you know, want to know how good Lincoln's uh, show was, his last show was? How, how, how good, good was it was? It? What yeah. he said about it? It was to die for. Oh. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> like our late president, this tall, dark drink of water doesn't say much. A mother of two, Kate Cunningham, had her first wedding anniversary in Liverpool, England. This one year ceremony was a bit unorthodox because her loving hubby is a tree. Yes, Kate tied the knot a year ago and celebrated in Rimrose County Park despite her two sons and boyfriend being left at home. Remember this, fellas. If you don't keep us ladies happy, we might find another shrub with harder bark and bigger branches. <laughs> I'm just joshing you, fellas. I don't even like men. <laughs> now, don't go anywhere, you party people, because coming up next, I'm going to get a makeover. Stay with us. Hey, Dad. I need your help asking Jessica to prom. Of course. Love is like the ocean. You have to tread the Oh, waters. Dad, that's not the kind of help I needed. Hey, Jessica. I, um, will you go to prom with me? Yes. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care can't wait to share their first with you. Let me tell you about the toughest guy on earth. He has the crazy strength to lift the man that raised him up 
without even flinching. This guy, no, this warrior, will always be by his father's side, even if his dad will hardly remember. If this guy isn't the toughest guy on the planet, then I don't know who is. Caregiving is tougher than tough. Find the care guides you need at aarp.org slash caregiving. What do you think you're doing, Kevin? I uh, was just gonna drive home. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, there are several warning signs present that you shouldn't be driving. Like hearing voices? Like your text to emoji ratio? Oh man, the selfies. <laughs> Selfie nailed it. We all have warning signs that let us know that we're probably not okay to drive. Mine is pretending to be your subconscious. Craig, come on, man, let's put a ride home. Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad? Do stars visit their friends? Look! Welcome back to RME tonight. With me is Gianna Kater... How do you say it? Katanzarite. Katanzarite, who is about to make me look even better somehow. <laughs> um, but what, what do we have in store for, for me today? I'm feeling fancy. Well, <laughs> I... Well, I was told that I'm doing your makeup, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, I'm just going to do a nice eye look because with all of the wearing of the masks lately, uh, you can only see your eyes. So, you know, you got to go really hard up there, uh, which just you can just ignore everything yeah. on the way down. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to start by priming your face. My face. Yes. Now, do you have dry, oily, or combo skin? I think it's combination. Okay, perfect. So if you have combination <laughs> skin, we're going to use... I just use like a buffing brush and some like mattifying oh, wow. primer. Oh wow. We're just gonna slappity slap slap that on your face. It smells good. <laughs> yeah, it's it's infused with tea tree oil. Oh yeah. So that do helps it. Uh, close your pores and stop oils from coming out during the day and stop your makeup from sliding all over your face. Oh. So yeah, so it's like a nice little trick to do. And then <laughs> Take another brush and then your foundation. I'm just yes, gonna squirt that... it right on your face. Because honestly, this is the way to do it. Just like you We're know. We're coming up on two minutes and thirty seconds. <laughs> it's okay. It's BYO foundation because I'm a very pale lady. So I Yeah, just... we weren't sure. <laughs> I could have mixed, but you know. Well, we don't I wasn't mix. sure on the timing here. Right. Do you like do a what What's the perfect amount of this foundation stuff you put on? Uh, well, so that's, uh, I guess, up to personal preference because with every single foundation, you use different parts, like different amounts of it to get right. different amounts of coverage. So with this one, uh, it's a matte foundation, so it builds up really well. So you're probably not going to need as much to get the coverage that you're looking for. Nice. So with this one, you're not gonna need very much, which is very nice because then you don't have to buy foundation as much. That is true, and that stuff was expensive, let me tell you. Oh yes, yes it was. I sold this stuff for like two years. Oh yeah. At Sephora, yeah. I... Oh, Sephora. Minute 30 left. Kestra, I want you to keep Gianna doing the makeover when we go to the skit break. So, what, so you got some eyeshadow over there. What color are we thinking on the eyeshadow part? So earlier you said you look like Shaggy, and you know he has the orange pants, so I think it's we're going to do an orange It's because I'm wearing brown pants. If you see my pants, they're nice and brown. I got the green shirt, so I'm feeling Scooby-Doo-esque today, you know? <laughs> All right, and I'm just going to put some concealer underneath your eyes, oh. so I'm going to have you look up to the ceiling. There we go. Right in the, the lights, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just blind yourself for the sake of beauty. Yeah, I feel like that's the way to do it. That's the only way to do it. The that's greatest what I do people are the day. ones that look like they're the most angry all the time, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. Sometimes I feel like the bottles of the 
the items probably cost more than the actual item itself. Yeah, so that's actually a thing. Uh, that's why drugstore makeup is able to be so cheap because oh the packaging is a lot less expensive. I feel ya. While Gianna finishes up my makeup, we will present a not very important, but extremely important to me, PSA. So see it now. <laughs> Every day, an adult buys a bottle of lotion. Every hour, someone's skin flakes will fall into someone's food. They suffer alone and are terrified, waiting for someone to help. Hi, I'm Jack O'Brien. Did you know that eczema affects up to 20% of children worldwide and that one in three adults will have one symptom or another? That's 35 million Americans that suffer from this traumatic skin plague. Please say you'll be the answer to the eczemite suffering. They're in dire need of your help. Please call the number on your screen or be a part of the fight by joining PWEDTD on our website. For just $20 a month, you can help these poor creatures and be the recipient of a stylish tote bag signed and commissioned by Mikhail Gorbachev. Please don't sit idly by on animal suffers. Call or click to go online right now. Jack, let me out. Let me out. Jack, Jack, Jack please. Help me, please, Jack. Jack. You Jack. can't do this to me. Jack! Jack. 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 <laughs> oh, that was something. <laughs> We are now almost finished with my makeover. We got the face done, you know? And I think uh, maybe I'm gonna pay Gianna a few extra bucks to finish up the with the eyeshadow. Um, but our next session that we're gonna have is uh, some mystery drinking that I'm gonna do uh, with some drinks from the cafeteria. So uh, I will see you after these commercials. Hey, Dad. I need your help asking Jessica to prom. Of course. Love is like the ocean. You have to tread the Oh, waters. Dad, that's not the kind of help I needed. Hey, Jessica. I, um, will you go to prom with me? Yes. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care can't wait to share their first with you. Let me tell you about the toughest guy on earth. He has the crazy strength to lift the man that raised him up without even flinching. This guy, no, this warrior, will always be by his father's side, even if his dad will hardly remember. If this guy isn't the toughest guy on the planet, then I don't know who is. Caregiving is tougher than tough. Find the care guides you need at aarp.org slash caregiving. What do you think you're doing, Kevin? I uh, was just gonna drive home. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, there are several warning signs present that you shouldn't be driving. Like hearing voices? Like your text to emoji ratio? Oh man, the selfies. <laughs> Selfie nailed it. We all have warning signs that let us know that we're probably not okay to drive. Mine is pretending to be your subconscious. Craig, come on, man, let's put a ride home. Hey, Bobo. Do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. 
Can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! And welcome back to our mute tonight. I'm here with my good friend Kester Harris, but you're probably wondering who's this ginger on my screen. I'm Nick Hederick, and I'll be hosting our very first ever drink taste test challenge. Now, obviously, I don't know if it's because my breath smells or this whole COVID thing, but there's a nice plexiglass board right here that um, is between us, so we don't have to wear masks and we can get very genuine reactions out of Kestra throughout this show. Um, you're supposed to be blindfolded. I do not see a blindfold, so if you could cover your eyes, please. You have a mask. That might not be the most sanitary thing in the world to strap that over your I, I don't work for, I'm not Fauci. I don't know what to tell you. Um, yeah, do that, do that. Okay, so it's been a while since I poured these, but I know what this one is. So extend your hand, up, open, turn, dip. There you go. Now just grasp that as you would normally grasp a drink. There you go. Okay, and there's a straw? Yeah, yeah, there's a straw, uh-huh. <laughs> you're there, you're there. What, oh, what, what do we think that is? That's disgusting. What do we it's think? It's water with like a splash of... Oh, it's cucumber water. Is it, no, no, is it the water, watermelon water? I think, I think it's watermelon water. It's watermelon cucumber and pineapple water. Ah, that's why I got that hint. We'll give you like cucumber. a third of a point for that one. Thank you. Now I just slid another one over right now. So you're right there. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, it is cold. We put a lot of ice in there <laughs> so you get the freshest experience if we water down. That straw's on the, there we go. What are you doing to these drinks? Tyler Gallo made that one, our mighty cameraman. <laughs> okay, so there's something fizzy in there. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, is there more cucumber water in this? No, not in that one. And I, I, I don't know what type of soda that is. It's got to be like maybe like a Pepsi. It's, it's Mountain Dew, and I believe Brisk Ice Tea. Yep, that, I think or Lipton. Okay. <laughs> I think something. He's trying to mouth to me what it is. It's pretty gross. This I'm one's not... my favorite one, and I want to make sure this has adequate time. It's right in front of you. I grabbed it at the top, so grab it at the bottom. I also just sanitized it for those at home wondering. <laughs> okay, this one is a different cup. It is. Which... There's a lot. Be very careful. It might spill if you keep jumping and gyrating <laughs> like that. <laughs> is there a straw in Your it? Your hair's dipping in it now. Is... Let's, let, no, just, there you go. Take a nice big gulp. Bigger. What? Is there coffee in that? Coffee? Coffee's in there. Coffee's one of the elements. Is there more iced tea in there? There is some iced tea. There's a third one. Can you go three for three? Oh, God. I don't, oh, I don't know that I can. Uh, and it tastes kind of good. Do you have a final guess of what the last thing would be? No, uh, mm, Sprite, I don't know. No, 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 it's bang! Bang energy, <laughs> bang energy. <laughs> no. Unicorn <laughs> rainbow, bang, bang, bang. Did it bang your taste buds like that? Did it, it just explode? I, they, it was kind of zesty, I was like, I don't know what I'm getting here, but it doesn't feel like it's from, like from a normal fountain pop machine. Uh huh. So actually, we're gonna go with this one. You got another coffee. one right there. Coffee, coffee, and bang. I'm gonna buzz for hours. There you go. Do you want to drink that awful water concoction again, to like as a palate cleanser? I don't know where it is. Okay, so. that's a good point. You're blindfolded. Uh, this one doesn't have a straw either. You're right. The ones with straws, I made, and I made the bang one. Oh my. Is it milk? Yeah. I hate milk. That's good, because I do too. <laughs> this one's my favorite one. You're probably gonna smell what it is. That's a little to the right. More, right there. You're right on it. There I'm you go. I'm gonna smell it? Should I smell don't it? Don't smell it. Just take a very small sip, because I don't think anyone would appreciate it. Oh, I you smell it. it out. Uh. I barely hit her lips. I got a chunk. Oh, man. Oh, my. It's Italian what? dressing. Yeah, what? Why did I get a chunk if it's Italian, though? I don't know. Italians can be chunky. I guess. They eat a lot right. of pasta. That's true. I'm going to save this for later when I eat a salad. All right. Yeah. Here's, here's our second to last one. Oh, gosh. We'll see if we have time for the final one. Okay. I got I got something cold here. It is. It's a very chilled beverage. Yeah, chilled beverage again. Is this going to be good or is it going to be nasty? I don't know. That's, that's not for me to decide. Oh, I like it. 
Is there more bang in here? No, there, there's only bang in one cup. <laughs> I want more bang. Um, it tastes like an energy drink, though. I don't know. Is I there Fruitopia in there? I want you to guess before I start telling you what they are. Fruitopia, maybe? Fruitopia? I don't know. Is that next to Candyland? Wait, do you guys not have Fruitopia in America? What's Fruitopia? I guess you do not. It's like a fruit juice, you like mean, a like fruit, fruit punch. Of a loom or? Like a fruit punch? It is a fruit punch. There's something with it, though. It's tangy. Maybe a little bit of Mountain Dew. Am I allowed to put this over here? Yeah, you're good. We got one more. Okay. By the way, that was Fruit Punch and I believe Sprite. Oh! Now here's the last one. I like that one. Oh, this one's very... I keep saying they're cold, but I mean it when I say this one's cold. It's chilled. It's chilled. I... They all taste the same. Well, that's because you're on a palate cleanser, because this is a... I don't you know, know where the, the water is. Okay, though. you're dangerously close to smacking into the other one. <laughs> um, um, maybe like a little bit of Pepsi. Right. And a, did you guys just go down the line and put every single one of it in? No. Because that's what it tastes like. It's only like. three. It's only three. Pepsi. Uh, is there root beer here? There is not. Oh. <laughs> I thought there might have been, <laughs> but now <laughs> memory serves me there's, right. There's got to be that Sprite thing in there. It's Pepsi, Sprite, and Mountain Dew. Oh, okay. Now, Kestra, I have a very important question. What? Can Do I you... open my eyes? No. Why? Do you trust me? In, no, you gave me Italian dressing. We've been friends for three years and you don't trust me. I don't, you gave me Italian dressing. I just do what I'm contracted to do as a performer on this show. <laughs> it's hard what being the mean? Pete Davidson of RMU tonight. Okay, fine, I trust you. Thank you, thank you. My girlfriend's a lot prettier than Ariana Grande too. Let's just put that in perspective. Okay, <laughs> one of these you're gonna drink for 15 seconds, but I get to pick, yay or nay. If you pick the Italian dressing, I, 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 the I show. Listen, I would not do that to you. Okay, then fine, yeah, that's friends. fine, I'll do it. Okay. Okay. I'll just chug it. Let's, what if I run out of it? Let's concoct, not... you probably will know what it is, grab it, it's, it's hovering. Higher, higher, no, backwards, watch out. Okay, can you take me higher by Oh, uh, the coffee one with the bang. Yeah, okay, we're gonna start the timer, 10 okay. seconds. I'm just gonna open my okay. eyes now, good? Okay, yeah, you're good. Okay. All right, go. Oh, I missed the button. You're gonna go an extra second. I'm not responsible for any form of uh, kidney failure that she might endure either. I'm just here. Oh man, I made you go long. Sorry, you're good. You're good. Uh, How was that? Uh, <laughs> oh, I kind of want more. Do you? <laughs> you know. Finish it then. No. I <laughs> How far back can we back up that camera? I don't camera? know why you would get If you home. finish one, I'll do like 50 push ups and we'll stay on air until I do all 50. I'm just kidding. We can't do that because we can't move the camera right now. It was an idea. Can you rank them for us? Okay, um, milk last. Italian dressing second last. That is very surprising. Um, I don't know what the rest, the cucumber water, it, it's good, but it just didn't taste good this time, you know? Um, where's, this one is the one with the, yeah. Okay, and then these fruity drinks. Which one is which? One has, mount, the lighter one has, uh, oh, oops. The lighter one has Sprite, and the darker one has Mountain Dew. Okay, the Sprite is before the Mountain Dew, and then this bad boy at the front. Bang, baby, bang, freaking bang, bang, bang. energy. Bang, bang into the room, you know? Have you ever seen that video? You ever seen that video? Yeah, I've, I mean, energy. I've seen a lot of memes of the, the video. The Trevor Wallace one. No. Where he screams at, like, his car window? Oh, yes. You've never seen that? I've seen screaming bang commercials. Have you? Yeah. That's, uh, that's intense. That's intense. <laughs> Um, do, do you, so you don't like milk either? No. Why don't you like milk? I, I don't. It, that's I have it? a very disgusting story on why I don't like strawberry milk, but oh. I don't really want to tell that oh, and make okay. it public knowledge. Well, actually, I'll tell you Also, something. no one's eaten dinner yet, and I don't want to ruin everyone. Yeah, that's night. true. But I'll tell, I had a habanero pepper accidentally two weekends ago, uh -huh. and I just chugged a bunch of milk. Accidentally had a habanero pepper. I was told it was a chili pepper. Oh. Like a red hot chili pepper. But there were no, there were no songs that came out of it. And then you drank milk? I did, because that helps, because water just like makes it burn even more. It's because milk is slightly basic. Is it? Yeah. 
Do you know your periodic tables? Well? Uh, I, I know it enough to know that it's basic. It's basic? Yeah. Do you think I'm basic? No. OK, that's fine. That's fine. That's all I got. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, anyways, up next, our little leprechaun, Jack O'Brien, will give his weekly thought. We hope you stick around. Hey, Dad, I need your help asking Jessica to prom. Of course. Love is like the ocean. You have to tread the Oh, waters. Dad, that's not the kind of help I needed. Hey, Jessica. I, um, will you go to prom with me? Yes. <laughs> you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care can't wait to share their first with you. Let me tell you about the toughest guy on earth. He has the crazy strength to lift the man that raised him up without even flinching. This guy, no, this warrior, will always be by his father's side, even if his dad will hardly remember. If this guy isn't the toughest guy on the planet, then I don't know who is. Caregiving is tougher than tough. Find the care guides you need at aarp.org slash caregiving. What do you think you're doing, Kevin? I uh, was just gonna drive home. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, there are several warning signs present that you shouldn't be driving. Like hearing voices? Like your text to emoji ratio? Oh man, the selfies. <laughs> Selfie nailed it. We all have warning signs that let us know that we're probably not okay to drive. Mine is pretending to be your subconscious. Craig, come on, man, let's put a ride home. Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Well, I'm glad to be back. I know it don't really look the same as the last time you've all seen me get angry about something, but I'm sure you'll figure that out. You'll get that out of the way. It's not going to be an issue. I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be out here ranting, telling you all the things I dislike in this world because that's basically 90% of my day. Something I want to talk about is personal space because I think I feel like it's pretty fitting for the time at hand. Everyone's trying to keep their distance. I know we're keeping our distance here. Some people aren't. Um, some people weren't before. I don't get why you can't get it through your head that personal space is something that needs to be respected. Granted, now you're supposed to stay away from people. I think this is good, but some people just don't want to do it. All you people where I can feel your breath on my face while you're talking to me, I don't like it. I don't need to know what you ate. I don't, I don't need to know what you ate for the last time you ate. I don't need to, I don't need to know that. I can, I can usually smell it with some people. It's just, oh my God. Like here, see what I'm doing? Gum. That helps. If you're going to do that, at least take some precautions. I'm sick of this. For God's sakes. It's gone on long enough. And you know what? It's not going to change because some people just can't get it through their head. Like I said before, you've got people marching into Target saying, oh, we're sick of this. Get your mask off. We're done. Keep the mask on, you nasty. Look, the bottom line is personal space is something that needs to be respected. All right? I've had it. There are other people who are just as equally disgruntled as I am. Believe me. You don't believe it, but believe me, there are. They're out there, but they're not as vocal as I am. I'm the voice of the people. This is why I'm needed. This is why we need people. Like, not to really pump my own tires here, but we need to be outspoken because we've had it. We are, we are frustrated, all right? Oh, decompress a little bit. But don't think I'm, just as, I'm not as angry as when I started this. The problem is, okay, it's just elbow room, all right? If I can't just do this, Maybe even kind of like, you know, a little bit of arm rotations. If I can't do that, you're too close. All right? If you're stepping on the back of my shoes, you're too close. If I can smell your breath, you're too close. That's it. Keep your distance. It's easy. It's not very difficult. All right? Wear these. It helps. Science. Not even. I mean, who are you to discredit a scientist? Who are you to tell me that you think, don't think you're too close? Thank you, Jack, for that telling display of how much you enjoy, or should I say disenjoy, public personal space, or 
a lack thereof. Well, anyways, thank you so much for tuning into the show. We will see you next week. Have a great night. See you soon.